Do as Gray commands. Yes! <laughs> Motherfucker! Hello, everybody. Gray still plays, and we're back with more of the Finnish peeing simulator. No time for BS. Very strange day. I feel weird anytime I start an episode where we're not urinating together. But uh, here I am, out by this, out by this freaking uh, shop over here. Having just delivered a new car here, I've had a lot of people mention either this looked like a uh, like a 90, uh, uh, 1967 or 68 Firebird. Other people say it's a Dodge Charger. Other people say it's a GTO. I think it may be a mishmash of all of them. Who knows? Maybe it's just whatever the developer decided to make, utilizing parts from all different types of actual vehicles. You're going to notice it's Wednesday right now right now there's a reason for that in the comments you guys had mentioned in order to do the vandalism job it it had to be like Wednesday for you get the call so what you can do to move your days along is you can go to any toilet and I get a lot of people ask me how do you save the game you got to go to a toilet or an outhouse they're scattered around the world there happens to be one over here at the shop there's another one over by the general store with the gas pumps there's one at your house well there's a there's a couple at your house. There's one out by the wood shopping area. There's also that normal toilet inside the house if you want to urinate like a normal human being. Not to say that people who would use this wouldn't be a normal human being. I'm just saying that the toilet area at least has a faucet to wash your hands. Not that we ever use it. So anyway, as I get sidetracked, you can click on this to save and quit to the menu. That's also how you save the game. Every time you do that, it moves the game along two hours. So when you log back in, two hours will have gone by. Now... In order to do what I want to do, which is the vandalism thing that we, the vandalism job that we need to do, we need to fill up this tanker with poop. At least that's what I believe we have to do. That's what people have said, so I'm going to give it a shot. So while we're here, we at the very least have a, a sewage thingy that we can go grab. Well, we did two. So let's go grab the first one. First, we have to turn this thing on and probably allow it to warm up. It's the glow plugs, after all. I'm learning a little bit about cars, guys. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I know I'm still an asshole when it comes to vehicles and all the knowledge surrounding them. But hey, it's like, okay, listen. It's like if you spend your entire time learning about cars and you almost expect other individuals to know certain things about them and you forget that people can be so ignorant as I <laughs> but that is a thing let's go ahead and start this thing up ready to go here oh yeah purse like a kitten go ahead and bring the rear axle down as we do turn the parking brake off and let's go ahead and throw this thing into gear and go a lot of people still asking how do you turn from the low gear into the high gear inside of the tanker that is by pressing the R button so press the R button if you need to, and you will go into the high gear. All that does is that allows you to use the high range. Oh, not high gear. I should say high range. It allows you to use the high range of gears. So let's go past here. Suck up some sewage, baby. You know how the day starts. Bright and early in the morning, sucking that shit out of people's wells for fun and profit. And we need it to, of course, complete. Oh, God. The vehicle is sliding randomly. Why is this happening? A lot of people mention don't park the vehicle right over the sewage well. You won't have any problems. Well, I wouldn't have to do that if the if the freaking tanker wouldn't have a mind of its own. Oh, this is very good, though. This is totally fine. Okay, so this is perfect. This is exactly what we want. A nice full well right here. Get this bitch filled up. You're going to see, guys. Wait until you see here. You're going to see old Gray has been honing his shit-sucking skills, man. I was a pleb. I was a level one shit sucker before, but now I'm like level, like level 10 maybe, or like an, an, an inner me, oh get the fuck down the, come on, it worked, there, I'm trying to impress these people, okay, so yeah, like level 10, I'm like a skilled novice now, go ahead and shove all this, really, it's stuck behind the wheel, it's stuck behind the wheel now, Is the, are we, are we really doing this, hose? are we really doing this right now, are you, okay, there you go buddy. Things are getting a little too realistic for my blood these days. A very realistic game, though, I gotta say. As, as ridiculous as most of this game is, it cannot be said that there is a large portion of this game that is surprisingly correct. You guys were mentioning I need to swear more. All right. There you go. God help me already. Yes, God, what are you waiting for? 
How much shit must I suck before you finally help a brother out? Man, I'll tell you. I have pumped a lot of liters of poop out of sewage wells in my day here at my summer car. And I don't know, I, you guys never get tired of watching it? Who knows? Go ahead and crack open a beer here real quick before time gets away from me. Yep, there we go, hole in one. Oh, I have a lot of people asking me to headbutt these buildings. I, I imagine to see if anything's inside. Well, here you go. Not a damn thing. It is completely barren inside. This is a good way to find out if there's cars, uh, junk cars inside of barns too. You can bash your head through them. You can usually see, mind you. You can usually see through the barn if you're really looking. Let's go take a real quick look. I, this house over here, I guess, is just like an abandoned house. There's nothing here or something. Now, I wonder if as the days go by, cars will like randomly spawn inside of these buildings like can these junk cars only be found in certain buildings and never in other ones ah i am very happy with your work i couldn't do any better i'll bet you couldn't because you don't want to touch shit with your hands why does it sound like this guy is talking while pinching his nose is that is that are you guys picking that up finnish folks out there is that what the, is that essentially what that sounded like to you go ahead and turn off yonder pump here not the differential lock there we go and I've gotten some good suggestions on the hose, how to get the hose out, and you guys are totally right. Grab the hose, and then kind of back away slowly with the... You son of a bitch. Back away... Okay, uh, no, I did this wrong. Pick the hose up. All right. Pick the hose up, and then back away with the hose. Clearly standing with the hose is too much for our young man to handle. You don't want to stand up with the hose. You want to remain in the low squat here. The low squat. Go ahead and grab this end of the hose. And now that the hose is appropriately gathered from the hole, we can stow it in its spot. Uh. Let me tell you what, guys. The money is flowing, baby. We are getting quite a little bit of cash. I just hope I can get this shit done with enough time to receive the phone call back at home. It sucks that while we're here, this jackass can't just tell me, like, while I'm right around the corner, hey, do you mind vandalizing the hell out of my arch nemesis? Like, yeah, he has to wait for me to get home just so he can call me. I mean, is it is it really that much of a, is it really that much of a secret that we're doing this together, buddy? Nope, not enough sewage. No good. So while we're here, let's go and stop over at the general store because, man, we are, like, way down on freaking uh, gas again. We have got to get, we have got to fill this thing up with diesel. Then we gotta head home, hopefully to take that phone call. Let's, let's peel on out of here. Driving down the highway. Couple of thousand liters of shit in the back of the tank. You guys know how it is. No big deal. Got our beers here with us. Uh, I don't think I have any food though. We are getting kind of hungry. It's not gonna be an issue though, because once we, oh, Techno Viking, hold on, I've waited for this day. Go oh, fuck yourself! Whoa! God! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, yeah. oh Techno Viking! You dirtbag! Oh, you son of a bitch! What happened to you, buddy? What? How is he just fine? We just flipped 30 times and Techno Viking is just fine. You dirtbag, son of a bitch! All right. That's fine though. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to turn this vehicle over. How are we gonna do it? With our power arms of, of freaking finished greatness, boys. You guys know, gotta get behind that back tire. Gotta get behind that back tire, baby. Here we go. We're doing this. We're doing this. Watch this. Up, oh, found some sausage on the ground. Gulp. Oh, what the hell? Let's crack open a beer. Oh, a third arm has appeared! Yes! Oh, I've broken the game yet again. Excellent. Do as Grey commands! Yes! <laughs> Motherfucker! I know what you boys were thinking. You were saying to yourself, there is no damn way that Grey is gonna be able to push that freaking, that freaking tanker over with his bare hands. Not when it's, not when it's on its side like that. I'll tell you what though. I'm a tenacious son of a bitch. I'll make it happen. I swear to God. Now, it's taken me quite some time. So, that probably wasn't the best thing to do. But I'd still like to think that I got one over on old Thump Thump Car. Little bit of beer in here. 
Close the old door, and we're back on the road just in time, too. We are almost out of freaking gas. Oh, my God. Looks like we've got some kind of hit and run over here. Damn good thing, too, because I totally forgot my, uh, my sledgehammer. Wouldn't want to leave this behind. Whoa there, buddy. How are you doing, you son of a bitch? Urgh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what's this? What's this? You want a piece? You want a piece? Uh. Uh. Yeah. You remember the hammer? You remember the hammer, Bekele? I'm going to beat this car right through your skull. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, go away from this now. Oh, our fatigue is super high. Oh, shit. That's actually really bad, guys. Because uh, if your fatigue gets too high, you can have a heart attack and die. So, we uh, kind of legit need to get moving here. Go ahead and drop this off. Close the door and get the hell back out of here. We're gonna we're gonna drive at an angle, damn it. I don't have time to fix this. I just realized we got turned around when we hit old Techno Viking thump thump car there. We got turned around so bad that I'm heading back toward Loppy. I actually just passed Loppy. Uh, so we're gonna go home and get some sleep. Hopefully we have enough gas to get some sleep and then come back out and get to the store. Well, this is fine anyway, because we'll be home. We'll have the opportunity to maybe get that phone call. And if we don't, I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to sleep a hundred times again. As I told you guys, you guys don't know. Sometimes these episodes take forever, man. Because I've got to pass time until everything's set up just so. So that I can get what I want to get done in the episode done. In retrospect, this turn of events is probably better anyway. Because we can die from the lack of fatigue. And I would rather not die of it all, Bob. Well, I know it's been a while and all you guys are expecting it. <laughs> Someone had mentioned, like... Gray, you're getting so good at the game, you haven't died. Yeah, well, I told him I was just waiting for the other shoe to drop. I feel pretty good, though. We got a sewage job done. We went head-to-head -head with the Thump Thump car and didn't even suffer an injury. And we managed to show that it is completely possible to unflip this thing. Now, I don't know what would have happened if it was on its, on its back, but at least on its side, if you are tenacious enough, you can get this thing flipped back over on its wheels with enough with enough brute force and beer. Hey, 80 kilometers per hour on these finished back roads in the uh, in the sewage tank are not too shabby these days, huh? I mean, coming from coming from a guy who uh, was dying going like 40, you understand? All right, park this thing right over here. We need to get to sleep like right away. I don't care about whether or not it's in gear. Let's go ahead and open this. Hop out and get inside as quickly as possible. The only thing that would stop me from hitting the bed in any way is that phone going off, and I don't hear it right now. So it is sleepy, sleepy time. We're gonna have to use the sauna eventually as well. This is an interesting conundrum. You guys can see that it is past midnight, right? So I assume in Finland, like in every other place, after it gets past midnight, it goes to the next day. Yet, if you look at the upper left-hand corner of the screen, it still says that it's Wednesday. This is particularly interesting to me because it was just Wednesday. I guess some people have been having this problem, and it looks like I'm having this problem now, where, again, I can't change the days. So that means that eventually I'm going to have to reload the game or do something to see if I can get these days to change. But that's fine, because supposedly Wednesday is the day that our buddy is gonna call us with that job. So let's see if such a thing happens. I got a bunch of comments saying that watching this TV over here is an excellent way to get your fatigue up so that you can uh, sleep easier. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Go ahead and sit over here. Crack open a beer. There we go. Oh yeah, perfect. As the night sky drifts across the rural Finnish countryside. Plenty of beers, whoa, are in reach. But that must be the guy from the pub? Yep, there's the guy from the pub. I don't really feel like picking that guy up because I have too much other stuff I have to do. I, man, I don't know, brother. I don't know, oh, where the hell? There we go. I was gonna say, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to the to the uh, the gas station on the amount of the amount of fuel that we have. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, I think you have to have like your cursor right on the screen, and the fatigue goes up faster. You can see it's clearly going up here. It just takes a little while. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that on for the moment. 
Solana's been running, so we should be able to go ahead and get clean here so that we can start on our day as appropriate. Someone mentioned you could finish headbutt the, bu the water bucket to fill it up. How lazy have we all gotten? How lazy that the finish headbutt now serves all purposes in the game. It completely negates walls in every instance, but uh, ah, whatever. I guess it's just time saved in the end. Let's go ahead and get clean here. Maybe we'll drop down a beer or two. Right into the rocks. Yes. Well done, me. Into the rocks. Son of a bitch, I missed the water. Into the rocks. Oh, you know what we need to use? We need to use the bathroom real fast so that we can get dirty from using the bathroom and then we can clean ourselves after doing it. Plus, this way I don't have to pee in the sauna. There we go. Right like this. Thumbs up for a fantastic pissing job. You know, hold on. Is it just me or does our arm look really, really weird? Like, substantially different than our pushing arms. Our pushing arms appear strong. And, and and powerful and manly. And this this arm seems a little, uh, I don't know, man, a little sickly. <laughs> While we're waiting for this call, which I'm hoping to get at any time now, I think what we can do real fast is maybe go ahead and tune our engine a little bit here. We're gonna get this thing revved up slightly and I wanna see if I can tune the engine. Someone had said right about like 14.1. That seemed to be like the master level perfect area for them. So we'll do that. Oil level seems okay right in the middle. We've got plenty of fuel in this beast, so that's excellent. Now we do have a we do have a um a can of diesel laying near the barn area. I wonder oh, a lot of people are saying that the the cap is on the second shelf. On the left, no, this isn't my gas cap. This is a clock gauge. So, there's no cap in the game right now, I do believe. I, I think that's the way it is. Someone else had mentioned to go down here and then finish headbutt through the walls. Because sometimes it gets, like, buried in, uh, in here. This is interesting. You can see all the water that's clearly underneath our house and everything else in the area. But no gas cap. How about, how about under these? Nope, just more water. Ah, well, it's worth a shot. Oh, phone's ringing. Maybe this is it, guys. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Be the right one, be the right one. Yes. Oh. Our sewage well is full. Well. All right, well, that's fine. So we've got one sewage well that's now totally full over by Perayarvi. Okay, very good. All right, so here we are at 13.1, 13.2. I think that that's the stock setting for this aftermarket, for this aftermarket uh, dual carburetor, whatever you got in here. So let's go ahead and kind of mess around with it a little bit. Grab our, grab this here. Oh, and you guys are saying too, finish headbutt right through here, and you can mess with the uh, with the carburetor screw that way. So that's fine. If we do it one time, it moves up, right? Yep. Four, okay, thirteen point three. So let's go ahead and get this thing at right about fourteen point one. That's what we want. 13.8, okay, getting close. I would say like one more click should do it. About there, right? Uh, yes, 14.0. So that seems to be perfect. Right about what we're looking for. Go ahead and, uh, hold on. Go ahead and rev it a little bit. We can probably get it to 14.1. Right when the engine starts heating up. Yeah, see right about there, it heats up a little bit, it gets 14.1. All right guys, the sewage job, or not the sewage job, the vandalism job has not come yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to head on out for now. I'm going to get out of here. We're going to do a couple more sewage jobs to make sure that our tanker is full on up when we finally get it here. Holy crap, it's taking forever. Now you may be asking yourself, Gray, why are you driving like a maniac with the rear lift axle down? Oh, God, freaking thump thump car, you son of a bitch. Or the rear lift axle up. Well, that's because I heard that you get better gas mileage with the axle up, so I'm keeping it up because the amount of fuel that we have right now is so minuscule, it is it is getting ready to run out at any given time, and I've got to get to the freaking gas pumps. I don't know what I'm gonna do if we don't make it. We need to pass this freaking truck. No, son of a bitch. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ah! Oh God, we made it. Okay, now I just need to kind of 
Oh, it's like driving on ice. It's totally different having the rear axle up. Okay, but we did it. We made it. We're driving 110 around kilometers per hour in this freaking thing with the rear of it full of sewage with the axle up. Oh, I'm such an idiot, but it's the only way to make it to the gas pumps. Come on, guys. Pray for me. 120. Okay, I think we're almost to the big curve. The big curve here is what you have to get to before you get to Parayarvi. Oh, come on, make it around the curve, man. Maybe we'll be able to just coast to the gas pumps if we get far enough. All right, I just need to make, I need to take this turn really, really carefully because if we start sliding, oh God, please don't let there be a car coming the opposite direction right now. Oh, we're sliding around. Doing good though. Just kind of feathering the, Feather in the gas and also feathering the steering wheel now and again. Oh, we're starting to go sideways a little bit. Oh, recovered, recovered. Very good, yes, there's the sign. Okay, it's right up ahead here. It's right up ahead. Oh, come on. Come on, get there, get there, get there. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. I'm, I'm like 90% sure we'll make it. Okay, I just need to keep the momentum of the truck going. Momentum of the truck, come on, baby. Just get there. Yes! At this point, even if the truck loses power, we'll be able to coast right into the gas pumps. And now to spend like 1,600 marks filling this thing up. Oh my God, could we get any luckier? Yes! Holy shit, guys. Talk about, talk about being on fumes. Take your bets at how much gas this thing will take, how much diesel this thing will take. That's how much we had left. I don't know if you saw it. It was uh, like one little sliver of diesel. Oh, I'm gonna be in so much pain when I finally see this gas bill. I think that once Saturday rolls around, assuming I can get the days to change because I was certainly having an issue the last time I went to sleep. But assuming I can get the days to change, when Saturday rolls around, I think I might try and submit us into the rally just to see what kind of time we can get. We haven't rallied yet. I'm kind of interested to get that done. I wanted to get the custom paint job done first, but I just don't think it's going to happen yet. We're going to need another at least 11,000 marks. And I don't even want to know what this gas bill is going to be like. I mean, it's going to be huge. So that's going to knock us back. There's a couple of places right over here for us to do some sewage jobs in at the very least. We are going to get those done because we do need to fill this tank up. And then I'm still waiting for that call from Flotari. So hopefully at some point in the near future, we'll be getting that call as well so we can complete that final job. Maybe we'll also look around for some additional cars as we pass those barns. All right, so after 10 minutes of sitting here filling up the gas tank, someone had mentioned, why don't I make all of these episodes unedited? Let me ask you, do you wanna sit there while that thing goes? Oh my God, it, it was 10 minutes I was sitting here filling this thing up. I do not want to have to subject you poor bastards to that. How much is it? Go ahead. Oh my God. 1,200 marks for that, you son of a bitch. Now let's see here. Tourists don't buy milk. They buy beer and milk goes sour. Uh, all right. Sugar. Yeast. Anything else around here? I always like to check to see if there's anything new in the area. Just anything else we can buy. There's all the milk. And can we buy this yet? No. What is this? What is... Pipidus Pima. Pipidus Pima? What is this stuff? Is this, is this also a type of milk? But we like this kind, the ta Taloas Mito? I don't know. Either way, let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. Yep, have a good one, buddy. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of here and see if we can real quick do a couple of those sewage jobs and get our money going up. So remember guys, there's one of these sewage jobs over here. There's another sewage job when you're coming in from the highway. So the highway is right that way, right? Because there's our, uh, there's our general store. When you're coming in from the highway, if you make a right from the, uh, as you're coming in, so this road right here, there's another sewage job you can do right up here. We're going to try that one next. And here's the other one I was telling you guys about. Now, sometimes we end up... You know what? Let's do this backwards. The reason I say that is because sometimes I end up sliding 
down this little hill this guy has, and it's just a real pain in the ass to deal with. So we'll pull around, and then we'll go ahead and just, like, back our way in, and we'll do it that way. Now, folks had said as well, you don't want to back in on top of the on top of the sewage thing. You want to back in just before it. Because if you're right on top of it, it's kind of a pain in the neck to try and pull the freaking hose out. Another full sewage well here. While we're doing this, I turned off the uh, the tanker real fast just to see if we can turn the hydraulic on while it's off. I don't I don't imagine that you would be able to, but I figured what the hell. Might as well check to see if we could save a little gas. Oh, wait, get the hell down in there. There we have it. Now we can go ahead and thrust, thrust this thing deep, deep into the darkness. Come here, buddy. There you go. Oh yeah, sweet mother of God. Okay, that should be good enough. Go ahead and head over this way. Open up yonder door. Now we could probably finish headbutt and do this, but uh, I'm just going to jump my way in here. And hydraulic. Nope, you have to have the vehicle on. All right. So good to know. I'm going to turn her on here. Once we're done sucking this up, I'm going to take that shitty little access road back to Loppy. It's going to go past this again. It's going to go past this uh, tower again. I really want to see if the junk cars, once you grab them... Let me grab this guy's money real quick. Shut up, buddy. God, I, it's hard. It's hard to talk when I hear you in my ear speaking your uh, speaking your drunk finish. I'm really curious if the uh, if the garages regenerate, so to speak, like the walls go back on, and a new car is put in or not. We'll find out in just a second. Hold on. Let me go ahead and open this up, grab our hose, and then we'll head on that way. All right. So here we are on these finished back roads again. This is where all those broken down freaking barns and shit are so I'm really looking for a new one one that we haven't seen yet hold on I've kind of downshifted a little bit too far I'm looking for another one that we haven't seen yet just to kind of find another junker for us to grab I think that there's okay so there should be a couple right up here but these are the ones that we already checked so let's find out if they regenerate or not Thought I'd look inside of this good barn, right? Well, I call it a good barn. It's not like all run down. It looks fairly normal. You can see it's painted and everything. Nothing inside though on that one. We haven't missed anything else, have we? No, man, there's a lot of grasslands out here though. Son of a bitch. Hopefully this isn't a wild freaking goose chase. I could use another 4,500 marks though for grabbing another one of those vehicles. That's for damn sure. Okay, see right over here. Look at this. The doors are back on. The doors are back on. We smashed those off to grab the uh, to grab the vehicle the last time. Okay, hold on. Does this mean that there's another vehicle inside? Oh, please tell me there's another vehicle inside. Oh, they'd be so good. Oh, son of a bitch. Nope. Nothing. Damn it. All right. Well, that means shit. So that means either once a vehicle has appeared inside of one of these, it won't do it again, or it's randomized. Ah, oh, boy. Just grabbing a beer while driving the tanker. No big deal. You guys know how it goes, man. Sometimes you gotta be swigging down them delicious, uh, them delicious brewskis while you're operating a piece of very, very expensive heavy machinery. Pretty difficult, too, because I gotta keep my head on a swivel, looking constantly for all those damn sheds. All right, we got another opportunity over here because I still haven't found jack shit recently. Let's see, how about this one? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't see anything from here. Hold on. Let me go ahead and throw the old parking brake on and get out and take a look, though. Nope! Damn it! Alright, that's another swing and a miss. Searching diligently all around the map. Now in a fucking rainstorm. Because nothing can go easily in this game. And I still haven't found jack crap. Oh, excellent! Beautiful skies once again in Finland! Leave it to the clouds to come and go as they please. I'm still looking for another another broken down barn. What I might do is if we get to our turn off here over on the right eventually, I may kind of just go continue to take the back roads and continue to just try and find some additional of those broken down barns where we can find potentially more rundown vehicles, but man, it's more like a myth than anything else. I cannot seem to find any of these things for the life of me. Jesus Christ. Okay, so here's our turn coming up, but if I remember correctly, 
think there's some barns right over here. Let's go give them a real quick look-see. Now again, I don't know if once you check these barns and they don't have anything in them, they're not gonna have anything in them like ever until the game reloads or deloads or you move one of them around. Maybe there's only one on the entire map at any given time and you have to find that one. Right here, we have two rundown barns pretty close to one another. Let's go check this one out real quick first. Right over here. Um, where's the door openings? Oh, they're probably on the other side. Hold on. Go ahead and pedal this thing around. Oh, shit. Right to about here. Okay, that's good enough. I'll throw that thing in here. Come on, baby. Give me a little bit of luck. It's like winning the lot. Whoa, shit. It's like winning the lottery, you know? You may, it may happen, it may not happen, but you don't know unless you play. Okay, you gotta play to win. That was a fail. That was a total swing and a miss. One more, though, hanging over on the side there. Oh, our hammer of Achilles is, like, sitting right on top of us. Let's go check that out real fast. Oh, I see another barn over there, I think. Look at that right there in the distance. Okay, we'll check that one, too, and that'll probably be the last one. Let's go see what we can see over here, though. Where are the doors at? The doors are, hold on, not on this side, so they must be on the other side, right over here. Man, there's a bunch of barns right over here, holy shit. Okay, turn that thing off, get up out of here and see if we can see anything. Oh, it doesn't look like it, guys. God damn it. Okay, so that's a no-go, too. There's one more barn over there. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna let that one go. Hold on, we're checking it for sure. All right, guys, last one. Here we go. I don't know. It doesn't look like there's anything inside. I mean, I'm gonna go give it a closer look, and then I think that's gonna be it. I've gotta head home after this. Probably, uh, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, going back home with my tail between my legs. No extra marks to my name. The sun's starting to go down anyway. God damn it! That's fine, though. I swear to Jesus, if, there's, if it's the last thing I do... I will find another one of these. If you guys have any tips on how to find them, though, man, let me know. Folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Car. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do everything that I wanted to do. But that just gives me more enthusiasm for next time. If nothing else, though, you guys saw that it's definitely possible to knock a tanker over with your bare hands after you almost flip it. Till next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.